Welcome everyone, Fausto Carnevale. Today we are going to see how to pay almost zero taxes in Italy if you move your fiscal residence to Italy. So today, uh, to give you a short introduction, we're going to analyze three different cases. The case, uh, for instance, if you are a professor, the case if you are a, an impatriate worker, and the case if you are an entrepreneur and you want to move to Italy, saving a lot of taxes. Be reminded that all those information, a lot of Italians, a lot of accountants even in Italy, they are unaware so what happened and what I, what I see with our clients is that when the people ask us in Italy uh, they say oh, Fausto sorry but I know in Italy it's impossible to pay less taxes and then I said but did you read the article of uh, the tax authorities Agenzia delle Entrate did you know that did you know that and nobody knows so listen and uh, most important thing in the uh, description of the video we will also put the, the link of what I am uh, let's say summarizing today in practice you are considered if you live in Italy for more than 184 days you are considered fiscal resident in Italy what does it mean that you have to declare your income your worldwide income of course if you have a company like in uh, Fran in France the company will pay the taxes in France, but I'm saying you as a physical person, you have to declare all your income in it. Now, there are three different exemptions that I want to talk about. For instance, the first one refers to professors. If a professor has lived more than at least two years abroad, I'm talking about a university professor, he or she can get a 90% let's say deduction of the income what does it what does it mean that only the 10% of the income produced in Italy will be taxed if he moved to Italy what are the conditions so what I'm saying is if a professor take 10,000 euro per month in Italy it will be taxed with our IRPEF only with uh, considering 1,000 euro but this benefit, because it's a very a huge benefit, it lasts four years, not lasting forever. So even if you are Italian, you lived abroad, you're moving back to Italy, you can use this benefit. But there are some uh, points, there are some things that you have to possess as a professor. First, you have to have a degree. You have to stay, you have to have lived at least two years abroad in Italy. You have to have been really in another country for two years physical and uh, fiscal for our purposes when you move back to Italy but with moving back uh, here in the article I'm reading meaning that you have to be physical re fiscal residence in Italy again or for the first time and you have to bring your teaching your main teaching position the second exemption uh, it's for self-employed and employee and this is a case that also a friend of mine did. He was in Belgium and then he moved back to Italy. He has, so he had, and basically you can have also, a 50% exception, ex exemption of income from self-employed or employed work if you move to Italy. This benefit lasts five years. So if you take 40,000 euro per year as an employee, gross, you will pay the taxes only in 20,000 euro. So if you calculate at the end, the taxes are very low because let's say with 20,000 euro, you pay, I don't know, less than 10,000 euro of taxes, let's say seven or 8,000 euro. If you calculate, if you put this 7,000 euro of taxes compared to your salary, you pay how much? 10, 12, 15% of taxes, which is uh, really a uh, small impact. But in order to get this benefit, you have to all the degree, also worked for 24 months abroad or studied 24 months abroad, at least in order to take a degree. Also, you have to take the physical, uh, the fiscal residence in Italy and you can use this benefit. In order to practically get this benefit, I am also uh, suggest you to always make a, an accountant to help you. But in general, if you're an employee, you're uh, employer normally should know it 
normally i'm not saying that in italy people are aware of this but you have to basically make a request to your employer and they the company who hires you they will put in your payslip directly the amount with a tax deduction so it's automatically if you are a, if you are an employee it's very easy whereas if you are a self-employed you have to pay more attention but in general the the procedure is it's easy and you save a lot of taxes in five years but the most important point of today uh, because always we say in italy uh, we pay a lot of taxes if you have a lot of money but if you have lived for at least nine years in another country and this third point is for uh, entrepreneurs if you lived for nine years in another country suppose you lived in canada you have two three business abroad you're making let's say uh, between a quarter of a million and uh, one million dollars you know that you can move to italy with your family and paying a flat tax of hundred thousand euro for all your incomes generated abroad you move to italy you have to move fiscal uh, you have to get fiscal residence in italy for the income abroad so no not you can't open a company in italy and pay uh, on dividends uh let's say or uh, as a self-employed only a flat tax that will be uh, like dubai <laughs> italy is not still dubai but for you as an entrepreneur you can have this flat tax for 15 years so guys 15 years you save millions if you are entrepreneurs this point is for you save millions also i made some video about evie and eva fe i will invite you to have a look of those two videos now is not the video to remark those two concepts but uh, you also save those two declarations the evie and eva fe basically is uh, for declaring the asset all the abroad so if i have a bank account abroad i need to com complete these two accounts houses abroad and uh, financial assets just a small remark because maybe some of you think ah, okay so uh, if i have a uh, if i have a shareholder i can move to italy sell my uh, shares and uh, pay on a flat tax no this is the only way in which it doesn't apply you can't uh, move to italy and you got for instance a million euro in a shareholder capital gain you don't have a flat tax if you sell them in italy but on the other hand for entrepreneurs if you have a houses abroad if you're taking uh, some kind of interest you can have a flat tax thousand euro a uh, hundred thousand euro which is a lot for the italians when, when they when they see hundred thousand euro a lot of criticals say now what uh, the, those riches uh, blah 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 is not fair but actually it's fair and it's a good way to make people like you if you're watching a lot of entrepreneurs entrepreneurs are watching us you have a decent income you have a decent assets you want to move to italy not in politics in italy but this with this sometimes i think i am thanks the, the government who made this law because it's made for attract people with a graduate so professors and uh, of course you have to have a degree so in Italy we call the rientro dei cervelli, so people with a brain, educated people, we reattract, and on the other hand, we attract also entrepreneurs. And those things that I'm saying here, nobody, nobody says in Italy. But nobody, no accountants, uh, not to mention TV, not to mention newspaper, they don't care about abroad. But you, if you want to move to Italy, you also can save taxes. This is the main statements that I want to do today. The point of this video is you can move to Italy and you can save taxes you only have to speak with a person who lived in italy and who knows the law as we did and as we are here to support you so i'm closing here the video guys uh, if you like the videos i'm inviting you to subscribe to us and tax in the description of the video you will find the, the article of uh, what i talked today is 22 pages in english easily understandable if you follow this and if you want to work with us if you want a more specific consultancy in the description you can find the link and you can contact us so until next time fausto carnevale e sentaxa